What is up YouTube? It is Matty and I've got a nice clan war video to show you. So uh firstly we've met a good matchup in um in our current war which is great. You can see we've done half our attacks, our stars aren't great, we've done a lot of fails. We're both on an equal number of three stars, I think. Um we've failed a that's the highest attacks lost we've had in a long, long time. So it's um making a few people slip up a little bit but we're still whipping out the three stars and we're, we're still going for it but anyway we're not even talking about that war so let's move on to uh, the main showcase and that is this war versus i'm not going to try and pronounce that so life <laughs> um yeah i mean our bases they they tried a little bit but i haven't been three starred yet i'm not gonna show my war base um uh, if you want to see it, ask me on Kick or, or something. I'm happy to show you there, but uh, I don't want to announce it on YouTube. Um, just because we're in Clan Wars, and if, if the enemy the enemy know I watch re uh, I do YouTube videos and just go on and see my war base, then uh, they'll know where my traps are. But anyway, yeah, Tamil 10s all two starred, one three starred, um, all Tamil 10 nines three starred. So uh, from that respect, it's pretty very solid war. Um, we get. We need to get to stage where we can start three starring more tunnel tens. But the fact that we can wipe the board on the tunnel nines is brilliant. Uh, so I'm going to show you a few. I'm going to move through them as quickly as I can, but whilst covering some, uh, uh, covering as much as I can as well. Yeah. So first raid's by Holy. He's you can see taking down a couple of defenses up here. It's a it's a hog attack, um, holo if you will, because of the uh, potentially because of the quantity of loons or. Needle holo maybe. Anyway, he's um his strategy I like I like the way he does this. The hogs they just nicely time, nicely move into the next sort of mortar, pull out the full CC. So that was quite an efficient defence kill and CC pull. Which is in, uh, Queen in, so all the sort of uh, kill squad are, are down and doing their thing. And now he needs to funnel them into the Queen. So how is he gonna do his funnel? That barracks is a the uh, arm, uh, that army camp might be a nice funnel break for him. He, he needs his troops to go north. How is he going to do that? Looking a little bit risky. If you ask me, the queen looks like she's about to go south. Or is he just worried about the king going in? See, see, this is what happens if you don't funnel. Queen's already gone off. He probably wanted the queen to go in inwards. Um, I mean, why would you want the queen to run around the outside? But, uh, yeah. Anyway, hogs are coming in. You can see his main group have been in from the north side. Placed a heal spell sort of over the, over both groups of hogs as they're moving through the base. So he's trying to keep them nice and alive, um, coming all the way through down to the bottom. Don't know where the giant bombs are. I'm sure we're about to find at least one. Yeah, there we go. There was one. Maybe in the others that are near the town hall as well. Um, difficult to say on this base, I have to say. Oh, the queen stumbled upon one by the look of it. Um, he's got a load of hogs left as well. Only a couple of cannons and Teslas left, and the golem's still alive. Queen, hopefully she's about to survive because the defense died, which she did. Drops the king ability. Hasn't got. He's got wizards as cleanup as well, so he just needs to drop. Yeah, he's dropping a few around. Look, so ended up being a quite a nice hog attack. Shame about his funneling. I think uh, on harder bases you'd really need to watch out for that. Um, it's key. Um, nice planning on the the hot the the CC pull the CC kill, um, the hog pathing it all sort of worked quite well. Um, the major flaw of that raid, as I said, was the uh, the pathing. That's uh, sorry, not the pathing, the the funneling. Um, next raid I'm going to show is by Exlive. Let's see what he's saying. It's normally uh, quite a solid hounder. I don't know if he's going to try and kill the queen. Yep. So single hound, uh, single golem down. Sorry, a couple of wizards to get, create the funnel. King and queen, wall breakers in. They're all going in there. It's pretty straightforward. We know what's coming. Now the hope is that he can. He's getting the CC pool. You can see, and he's got a lightning spell for that as well, which is perfect. Lightning spell about now. There it is. Can he get the air defense? I think he has. It's hard to see. Um, he's got the air defense down, so he's probably thinking. Right, is, look at that. How many loons he's just thrown over there? Is it double hounds as well? I think yeah, double hounds as well. He saved six loons, um, maybe for the for the back side of the raid, maybe for down the bottom where the um, arch towers are. I like the way he puts the uh, 
Rage spell over the core as well. The expos going down are very key to any sort of Laloon raid because expos can be the things that just tear your loons up. I like the way they say I have two loons for each um, each arch tower just to make sure that they both go down and boom. That was very nice. That air defense finally did go down as well and look he's got so many pups left it should be a nice easy cleanup. It's nice showing the um, hound raids because they're, they're so quick. Uh, once you get them right, once you get the, the process down it's good so with one golem and his heroes and a couple of what was it um oh well, yeah a couple of wizards he was able to take down the full cc and a lightning sorry um full cc and air defense and the queen and that is perfect if you can do that and then deploy your hounds and loons well um you're asking for a three star and he received one so next raid I'm going to show, I think Lyco has already got one further up so I won't show his second, I will show Leonard's one. Um, let's move on, moving on up. So Hog Attack, here we go. I like Leonard's plans a lot of the times. Now I'm actually going to rewind that because that's really crucial, so sorry about that. Pause. Now watch what he does, okay, there's a double giant bomb just by this cannon, here's the whole base just so you've got an idea, there's a double giant bomb by that cannon there. Now the only sort of way to trigger that is for his hogs to sort of move from the arch tower down to the, uh, towards the sort of air defence and cannon. So watch what he does, it's brilliant. Giant down to tank, then a group of hogs in, hogs um, loon in as well, perfect timing. Watch what happens. Hogs run towards the archer tower. Loon gets in there, kills it. Then they run towards and trigger both double giant bombs and get a full CC pool. That is ridiculous. Just crazy. Uh, just that bit of planning alone, it, it, it makes the raid worth a three star because taking out that giant bomb, pulling out the CC, taking out def two defences in the process for a nice trade, it just all... It all screams brilliant. So Golem's placed down now. Needs to get his funneling right. You can see the wizard on the camp down there. North side funneling. Has he got any? Um, can't really see it. There's it, that wizard look. There it is. So you can see he's just making it so the troops go inwards. That's how it should look. Um, didn't get the full CC pull actually, which is quite surprising. So a couple of minions have come out. Needs to get them down. Queen's gone down. Here comes the hog look. A huge Asian wall entire sort of right side of the base he's going to need to place um get his heal spells down soon a lot of the hogs are getting sprung out at the bottom side which isn't great um just looking where he's going to place his second heal spell pretty nice placement i might have moved it to the left slightly um just to keep those downwards couple of hogs in uh, but then again i am shocking at um heal spell placement so don't take my word for anything on that um third heal spell looking okay the fourth heal spell um yeah slight overlap but he's just trying to keep make sure his hogs stay alive for the final part of the raid so that when it comes to taking down the skeletons and and that sort of thing they'll be fine lots of cleanup troops already wizards up top um wizard down south um so that he's already on on top of the cleanup and that should be it now raid over i'm just going to skip through that minion those minions are clutching it. How are they still alive? Um, but yeah, resorted in the nice three star. So very nice attack by Leonard. Very good to see. Um, what else are we doing? Moving on up. I covered JC's video in my other. Um, he was covered in La Lune episode. So we've got number 10 to go. And number 9 and that's it. So let's have a look at number 10. What we've got. It's Lyco. I think it's a hog raid again. You can see that how wars, by the way, they've just become pure hog or lava loon, really. Unless you go weaving for a two star on a town or ten or something. But the majority of town or nine attacks have now just become these two main strategies, which are used by everyone. Uh, rightly so, because they're just powerful. Those that there's still people that I get, I still get comments on my videos like <laughs> every now and again, like why do you use Laloon, it's rubbish or why don't you show go wipe and 
comments like that and i just i just think god if only you knew the re the the limitations that go wipe really has and and the 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 actual raw power that you can do if you deploy laloon and uh, hogs uh, hogs properly um but yep yeah, there's a lot there's a lot more to it than a, a lot of people first think a lot of people think you can just kill a queen and spam hogs and get a three star it's really not the case but you can see here the queen's about to go down and where is he going to bring the hogs in from is the main question he's got a couple coming in from the uh oh look that test has really thrown it off a little bit actually it's a general base i didn't even really register it um I like the way he sort of staggered the hog deployment as well. Um, you can see that that first heal spell is very delayed heal spell. Um, just letting the, the, a couple of defences go and then just bringing it in. Um, and another nicely placed heal spell as well. So he's already used two heal spells here, um, which means he's got two left. So he might even be walking away from this raid with a spare heal spell, <laughs> potentially. Um, Tesla placement's really irritating on this base. Now he's going to use the heal just to keep those hogs nice and alive uh, for the expo. I would have thought. There you go. Look, uh, the king's over there. You can, if you look at the rest of the base now, queen's starting to move through. Um, got some wizard cleanups going around, minion cleanup as well. Um, no double giant bombs. Just makes it a base quite easy to hog, to be honest. So, yeah, very nice attack by Lyco. I'm gonna speed through now watch the wizards just do the final cleanup the hogs coming in to greet them from the other side and there you go cc is the final building so let's watch the final raid from bow it's a very nice shattered laloon i'll scout the base first to show you and the clear obvious sort of thing here you've got is queen air defense and air defense all lined up beautifully and that means it's the ideal target really for a shattered laloon and if you don't know what shattered means it's just two golems normally so you can see he's doing a couple of trades to start with now don't always don't write them off if you get the opportunity to do these sort of trades and you can just take down a couple of buildings um you know don't um don't ignore it what i like the way the loon also traveled all the way over and then died and just the extra splash damage got the cannon that was quite nice but you can see the funneling going on here two golems are down king and queen are going in and it's going to be a jump spell to get them in by the look of it so king there they go king and queen moving towards the cc now this is the brave bit of this raid this is what i found interesting no lightning he just wanted to try and power it now the king's already dead but i like the way the golem comes in now and uh, sort of tanks for the queen now the golem actually takes down the air defense which was really useful and watch this now the queen the last wizards down that golem's going to carry on tanking how quick can he take down that elixir storage i'll have to show this red again in a minute um because he's already deploying and just watch the queen now she takes down the uh the air defense and then she takes down the expo as well. So the queen has properly clutched it on this raid. And may and just made that difference into a nice three star. I will sort of replay this raid as well at the end. Just to demonstrate the hog deploy. Um, sorry the uh, hound and loon deployment. But you can see what he does. It's just the way to do it. Save loons. Just carefully place the loons. Because if they're getting hit by bombs and traps and splash damage. The loon's, loon health is going down needlessly. So you can see the the rest of the cleanup of this raid is pretty straightforward. He had wizards, he had goblins, he had all sorts of troops left to help. So what I'm going to do is click play again now. I'll zoom out. You can watch it in two times speed um, for the start bit. And then we'll, we'll just slow it down for when the loons start coming in. So both golems in. Wall breakers to break them in as well. Funnel king queen going in and the nice jump spell then and the, this is where they're likely to start happening so i've dropped it down to the times one speed again um and let's watch the hound hound and loon deployment so where are we here we go two hounds in to go into the first air defense notice how he brought them in at different angles to tank any uh, bombs then first sort of group of uh, loons to to follow now what as soon as the loons sort of land on their air defense it's going to go down then the other hound's going to move across to the third to, to, to the second air defense there it goes loons already coming in around as well now 
Hounds tanking on that air defence. Loons moving northwards, but they're moving back across. Expo is going down, and here you go. They're swooping in. You, that Expo going down was key to the raid. That final raid spell was very nicely placed as well. And in come the, the back end loons. So it's almost swooping round the base. Not necessarily with hounds, but definitely with loons. That's the key to uh, to doing it. So I hope. Um, this video helped. Ho hope you liked watching this war recap. It was a very good war from our perspective. Obviously, the higher, the more stars we can get every war, the better for us. Uh, one attack was missed. Um, that might have been an extra three star. You never know. Um, don't think any of these. I, co I covered the good raids for them from the tunnel tens in a different video. But anyway, yeah, hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Let me know your thoughts, as always, and let me know if there's anything you want to see, um, thoughts, ideas, that sort of thing. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.